This is the afternoon video update. This is for Monday, March 11th. This is James Spann. Alabama's weather refreshingly cool today. Another chilly night tonight. We might see a few of the colder pockets hitting the freezing mark, but by Thursday, we'll be close to 80. That's the way it works in March around here. And the weather turns wet just in time for Friday in the weekend. Let's take a look at all the new data. This is the upper air look right now. A little short wave approaching from the west. That's producing a few scattered clouds, but the air is very, very dry. It's a nice day. Uh, the sky mostly sunny. You can see those scattered clouds mainly across the southern half of the state. And we do note on radar, we got a few echoes over Mobile and Baldwin counties, Houston County, but uh, quite frankly, most of that not reaching the ground. And for most of the state, it's a very nice but cool afternoon. Temperatures for the northern half of the state are in the uh, 50s and 60s. We note uh, Cullman at 59, Huntsville 58, Montgomery 58, even Dothan 59. They've got a bit of a cloud cover there, Mobile 61. That's pretty far below average for uh, mid-March. We'll check the watch warning map, and we note those little uh, shards of green on that map. Those are river flood warnings. In Alabama, we've got river flood warnings for the lower Tom Bigby and the lower Alabama rivers going down into Mobile Bay. Around the nation, wind advisories for the Northeast United States, red flag warnings out across the nation's midsection, and some scattered winter weather advisories out west. No severe storms expected through tonight, maybe some thunder up around Seattle. Tomorrow, a marginal risk around Kansas City, down toward Tulsa. On day three, which is Wednesday, again, a marginal risk that includes Kansas City, up toward Omaha, then down into extreme North Texas, down toward Sherman Denison. And on day four, which is Thursday, a risk of severe storms defined west of Alabama, parts of Texas, Oklahoma, the Arklatex region. Uh, at this point, no severe storms are expected beyond Thursday, but we certainly might see some strong storms here on Friday. We'll take a look at the new data in just a second. Here's a look at the rain for the next seven days. Rain valid through Monday morning of next week. And for most locations, rain amounts will be in the one to three inch range. And it looks like the weather will begin to turn wet on Friday. And we're going to see periods of rain Friday, probably Saturday, probably Sunday, and probably Monday of next week as well. Not a continuous rain. There'll be breaks, but it's a fairly wet pattern evolving for the upcoming weekend. So model fans, here we go. This is the uh, uh, GFS. The 12Z run, this is valid tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. A little short wave coming through Kansas. Got a trough coming into the Pacific Northwest, but around here uh, should be a sunny day with a very dry air mass. And again, some of the colder pockets might be close to freezing, not quite as cold as this morning, but still a, a fairly chilly morning. The high tomorrow should be close to 70, so a nice warm-up. Dry air heats and cools very efficiently this time of the year. This is Wednesday. We're still dry for the most part. I think uh, the state dry, maybe a few isolated showers off to the west. Thursday, again, the better chance of rain during the day Thursday most likely will be west of here. Uh, through parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, that rain moving in here Thursday night. And then the weather turns wet on Friday. And the air will be relatively unstable. In fact, this is suggesting... Uh, some of the higher Cape values we've seen all year. But but there's not much in the way of dynamic support here. So uh, hopefully we don't have a major severe weather problem. The wind profiles certainly don't support tornadoes based on what we see now. I'd say if we do have strong to severe storms on Friday, the greater concern coming from hail and uh, maybe some strong straight line winds. So uh, we'll see. I would imagine SPC might consider some type of low end risk here on Friday. But certainly the day looks wet. Occasional rain, maybe a few thunderstorms, highs in the 70s. And we should mention Thursday, we're going to be close to 80 in many spots. But again, 70s on Friday with rain. So this is Saturday. And you know, this morning, if you watch, the uh, GFS tried to suggest a dry slot in here, but we questioned that. And now, sure enough, the GFS kind of depicting, eh, not so fast. Uh, the moist air mass stays in place, a stalled surface boundary to the north. Uh, looks like we'll have showers. And again, we're not saying it's going to rain all day Saturday. And of course, there's no way of knowing now exactly when and where it will rain. But rain, a distinct possibility on Saturday with highs in the 70s. 
And Sunday looks pretty wet. Uh, the rain will be increasing in intensity and coverage. Uh, the high Sunday probably in the 60s. And let's check out a week from today. This is Monday the 18th, troughing a positive tilt trough off to the west. And once again, that looks awfully wet with a surface low over southeast Alabama. So as you can see, uh, it's looking like we're going to deal with periods of rain Friday, maybe beginning Thursday night, but Friday through Monday of next week. And there could be a few strong storms along the way. The rain might be heavy at times, another big soaking. And understand this is the wettest month of the year in terms of climatology. So getting rain events like this are very common. And look at the cold air to the north on Monday. And that's going to be dropping here by the middle part of next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday the 21st. A zonal flow and a cool, dry air mass in place. We're going to make a run for the freezing mark again by Tuesday and Wednesday morning of next week, most likely. Here's a look at rain for Birmingham coming off the European Ensemble. The mean, about three inches between now and the 26th of March. Here's a look at temperatures coming off the NBM, National Blend of Models. 70 tomorrow, upper 70s on Thursday. South Alabama could see low 80s. Then 70s on Friday, Saturday. But look at uh, next week, the high Tuesday dropping to 56. And again, lows well down in the 30s again by Tuesday and Wednesday morning of next week. That's the uh, 19th and the 20th. And again, that could be a setup for uh, maybe another late season freeze here. April 15th, that's the day you want to plant. We all know we can have these cold snaps and uh, deep into March and the first half of April. In fact... Hot off the presses, got the brand new 8 to 14 day guidance in the house. This is for March 19th through March 25th. And we are solidly in the blue, meaning temperatures would be below average. Hey, hey, let's roll that Children's of Alabama kid cam. Love it. The little ones. Our Lady of Sorrows Catholic Learning Center in Homewood. Big crowd. Lots of fun today. Talked about all kind of different types of weather. And you know what? We love cake on a Monday. We love cake on a Monday around here. This is what the doctor ordered. But those kids were just great. They were just amazing. And you can learn at that age. You sure can. So again, to all my friends, those amazing teachers and students at the Our Lady of Sorrows Catholic Learning Center in Homewood. Thanks a lot for a great visit earlier today. Yes, indeed. You guys are looking good. So let's look at the schedule here for this week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be down in uh, Elmore County, Holtville Middle School for a program there. Wednesday, Calhoun County at Oxford Elementary. And then on Thursday, Green Valley Elementary School in Hoover. And Friday, going down to Chilton County to Thorsby High School. And Saturday, it's a book signing in Etowah County. We're going to be at uh, Union Jack in Rainbow City. That's one of our favorite places. We've been there before. That's a uh, marvelous, marvelous uh, shop there, coffee shop, a great place. And we're going to be there from 10 until 1. Rainbow City, Union Jack, Saturday. Going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see many of you there. Uh, don't forget Weather Brains, our weekly show for weather dweebs, geeks, nerds, dorks, and weenies. On the air tonight, that's every Monday night. We're at 7 o'clock Central. You can watch it live on the Weather Brains YouTube channel, youtube.com slash weatherbrains. Dr. Harold Brooks will be our guest. Uh, he's a fascinating person. I, I mean, he's one of my mentors. Uh, Dr. Brooks knows more about severe local convective storms than basically anybody else except maybe Chuck Doswell. Uh, and we, of course, had Chuck on the show many times. Uh, so, and again, the audio podcast version will drop early uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, and for those that don't know, Weather Brains, it's the oldest weather podcast in the universe. We started the show in January of 06. 18 years old. Who'd have thunk it? And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, right across the hall in Studio A, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.